and I'll show you another example just for fun. This one's on the bottom. We have to put it into the middle layer to determine whether it's good or bad. And we ignore the green sticker. We look at the edge sticker and the center sticker next to it. We see that these are not the same and not opposite because um, red and orange are opposite colors. White and yellow are opposite colors. These are not opposite, not the same, so we know it's bad. This is a bad edge. So what do we do once we have a bad edge? Well, we have to find a way to convert them. So you can only convert edges in pairs, and it turns out that if you only have one bad edge left, that somebody's been screwing with your cube, and you should um, fix it by taking the cube apart and putting it back together correctly. So I see this is a bad edge because these are not opposite, not the same. And this piece here, we'll put it into the middle layer. And we see that these two stickers don't match up. And so we know this is a bad edge, and this is a bad edge. And once you have two bad edges, you put them into an L shape formation like this. And then what you do is you do the move sequence up to the right, right up, and up to the right. And that's all you have to do. And once you do that, the bad edge, the bad edges become good. So this piece, which was previously bad, we can now solve by turning an outer face, not blue or green. And this piece here, we can solve it by not turning the blue or green face. So what you basically do is you keep going along like this, um, and you find all the bad edges and make them good. So let's test um, all the pieces on this face. So this piece is in the middle layer. We ignore the blue sticker. This matches. It's good. We turn this piece to the middle layer. These two match. It's good. We'll test this piece. It's in the middle layer. We ignore this sticker. These two match. It's good. And this piece, we put it into the middle layer. Ignore that sticker. These two are opposite colors, so we know it's good. So all the pieces in this face we know are good. We'll test the face opposite this one. So right off the bat, we can see that these two colors are not opposite and not the same, so we know this is a bad edge. We turn this into the middle layer. We ignore the sticker. We look at these two adjacent stickers. These are not the same and not opposite. We can easily make that L shape again because they're adjacent in the same face. But I'll just show you some trickier formations. If you ever have the two bad edges, edge pieces in the same face, but they're opposite each other, then what you have to do is you have to temporarily take this edge piece out of the face. Um, well, actually, there's an easier way. You can um, turn this piece to the top here, and then join pe this piece over here to make them next to each other on this face. So I'll show you again. If you have them um, opposite each other, you turn this piece, or uh, this piece would work too, you turn either piece up to the top, leaving this piece here, and you turn this piece here. <coughs> okay, so now we have um, our L position, like that, when we do our move sequence, top to the right, right up, and top to the right. <coughs> now they're both good. Now remember, when you are making your L position, um, I'll just create some bad edges right now. Uh, okay, so when you're making your edge, your L position, it's crucial that you do not turn the blue or green faces, or else you'll make bad edges. So, for in instance, I know that these two are bad just because I'm super awesome, and um, if I wanted to make an L, I could not do put this piece here and then do this because um, then we've created uh, bad edges and we don't want that. So to make an L out of these two pieces, what we have to do is we have to turn this face up like that. So we move this piece here. Now we have an L made out of bad edges and we convert them. Top to the right, right up, top to the right. Okay. So now I'm just going to check all of them again to make sure we don't have any bad edges. And so this piece is in the middle layer. These pieces, pieces match, so it's good. Put this piece in the middle layer. We ignore this. 
these two match. It's good. This piece is in the middle layer. These two stickers match. They're opposite, so it's good. And these two are opposite. These two are opposite, so it's good. <coughs> okay, I'll do the opposite side now. These two match. It's good. These two match. Ignore that. It's good. These two. We ignore that. These two match. It's good. And these two match. It's good. Now we'll do these four edges. We see that um, these two are opposite. It's a good edge. Ignore blue. These are opposite. It's a good edge. <coughs> I turn these two pieces into the middle layer. We see these two pieces match. It's a good edge. These match. It's a good edge. So we have all good edges. We've checked all of them, and we, we now know that they're, they're all good. That means we can proceed to the next step and um, keep solving. Okay, to show you what you will accomplish in your next step, um, this is what it looks like. You're going to be solving a blue cross on top to have, um, and also having these stickers match up. So we're essentially solving these four pieces so that they're between the correct centers. And remember, during this step, you cannot turn the blue or green face, because then you'll make bad edges again. And that will defeat the purpose of converting all those bad edges. Um, so what you want to do for this step is you want to only turning the outer faces, these faces, not blue or green. You want to um, find an edge piece that has a blue sticker on it. We'll know that because if it has a blue sticker, we know it will be in our blue cross. And what we do with this... Uh, edge piece is we first match it with its non-blue or green um, sticker center. So we match white with white, like that. And then after we've matched white with white, we simply match blue with blue. So we've solved this part of the cross. Now we'll find another piece that has a blue sticker on it, an edge piece. This piece has a blue sticker. So we see that um, yellow is its non-blue piece sticker and we match it with yellow, the yellow center, and we turn it up to match with blue. Now this step is really easy because we've converted all the edges so that we don't have to turn the blue or green side, and it makes everything a lot simpler. So <coughs> we have a piece that we want to be in the cross. We first have to match red, like that, but in the process of doing so, we've temporarily broken up this part of the cross. See, we've done that. So we'll leave this down here uh, for now, and we'll turn this up to match with blue. Now we can go back and simply do a double turn to fix this. And as you can see, we have um, orange already matching with orange for this edge piece, and so we turn it up so that it matches with blue. And voila, you've created your blue cross on top. And if you find there's a piece um, let's see here. If you find there's a piece of the cross you can't solve without turning the top or bottom, then you know you have a bad edge, and you should go back to step one. Okay, so for the next step, um, you'll be solving the green cross on the bottom while keeping the blue cross on the top solved. So essentially, we'll be solving um, bars of pieces, um, vertical bars. This step is somewhat similar to the last step, except you have to make sure that you keep the blue cross solved in the process. So we have to find a piece that has a, a green sticker, which will be in our green cross. So we'll look at this piece here. Then we have to match it with its white center, because uh, we have to do that first. And, well, if we try to do this and put it into place, then we've wrecked this, um, wrecked this piece of the cross and we just sort of bottle it up, mess it up. So, uh, let's see here. What you have to do is you first have to align this part of the vertical column. So our goal is to make a vertical column here with an edge piece here and an edge piece here. So we align the column so that we can put this edge piece here, like so. And we make a column, we turn that column into place, and then we turn this uh, part of the cross back. 